scientists collect first RNA from an extinct Tasmanian tiger. This is what it looked like. It, it is extinct. And let's see what they're going to do with this now. No other RNA has ever been extracted from an ancient species, so the breakthrough opens doors to understanding the biology of long-gone organisms. Smithsonian's Will Sullivan reports this. Scientists extracted RNA from a roughly 130-year-old specimen preserved in a museum, a Tasmanian tiger, also known as thylacine. The feat marks the first time any RNA has been obtained from an extinct species, according to the new study published Tuesday in their journal Genome Research. Now, while DNA stores genetic information, RNA converts that information into a form that can build proteins. And by looking at RNA, research can shed light on the biology of extinct animals, revealing how their cells worked. It opens up a whole new potential source of information. Oliver Smith, geneticist at medical diagnostics company Micropathology in England, who is not involved in the research, tells Nature News, Mariam Nadav, as opposed to looking at what a genome is, we can look at what the genome does, he said. In recent years, researchers have extracted ancient DNA from specimens as much as 2 million years old, but scientists did not expect RNA, which is more fragile and breaks down easily, to stay intact for as long as DNA does, per new scientist Gene Timmons. Previously, researchers had sequenced RNA from a dog preserved in permafrost dating to around 14,300 14, years ago, as well as historic wolf skins, per the paper. RNA, a single-stranded nucleic acid found in all living cells, carries the instructions for making proteins needed for the structure, function, and regulation of the body tissues and organs, according to University of Massachusetts Chan Medical School. Being able to examine RNA can reveal how the cell was metabolically working when it was alive, right before the cell died. Emilio Marmo Sanchez, co-author of the new study, and bioinformatician at the Center for Paleogenetics in Sweden told life science Stephanie Pappas. To, attend, to attempt to extract this molecule from an extinct species, the researchers turned to the Tasmanian tiger. These large striped marsupials once lived across Australia, but as of around 2,000 years ago, they had been confined to the island of Tasmania, perhaps due to competition with dingoes and hunting by humans. European colonizers eventually drove them to extinction with the last known thylacine dying at a zoo in 1936. The team took three skeletal muscles samples and three skin tissue samples, each weighing 80 milligrams from a Tasmanian tiger specimen that had been preserved at room temperature at the Swedish Museum of Natural History. They successfully extracted millions of strands of RNA the Tasmanian tiger specimen examined in the study had been preserved for about 130 years in the Swedish Museum of Natural History. Emilio Marmol Sanchez and uh, Panayotis Kaleyeropoulos uh, did the editing. It was surprising that we found these authentic RNA sequences in this mummified Tasmanian tiger. Mark Friedlander, co-author of the study and geneticist at Stockholm University, tells Natural News. The researchers used the RNA to fill in gaps in the animal's genome, and they discovered a microRNA sequence which helps determine which genes are expressed in the cell and that had never been seen before. In the skin samples, they found RNA corresponding to genes that code for keratin, and in muscles, they identified RNA that helps make proteins invo involved in muscle stretching and contraction. The paper also identifies traces of viral RNA. Viruses contain either RNA or DNA, but not both. Further research could use RNA extraction to learn more about viruses from both extinct and still living species. Despite being extinct, the Tasmanian tiger has been in the news in recent years, since some researchers are attempting to create a living proxy of the species, in part by editing the genes of one of its close living relatives. This new advance will add significant depth to our understanding of the biology of extinct animals and help us to build much better extinct genomes, Andrew Pask said. 
He's epigeneticist at University of Melbourne, Australia, who's working on bringing back the Tasmanian tiger, but did not contribute to the new study. Marmol Sanchez tells new scientists that while these resurrection efforts are not the focus of his research, those involved with the de-extinction project will need RNA to understand how the Tasmanian tiger cells worked. And this is on Collective Spark by Will Sullivan from Smithsonian. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.